Hello, you pirate chickadees. All right, we're going to get into this video. I want you to go check out the Discord and the links in the description. But we're going to get into it. So these are ships that I think will be very helpful with pirating. I did leave some out, so let me know down in the comments or if you're a pirate, what you're going to be using and what you think will be useful, and if any of these ships will be good. So you got the medivac there. You can have the triage. I didn't put that in. Obviously, the medivac is something hard to get because you had to play some mini game or something to get it, which is kind of ridiculous. The way you get some of these ships is, in my eyes, pretty freaking stupid. Okay, it's it's ridiculous. Like the things that you have to do. The pirate Gladys is a good challenge, obviously, and the pirate caterpillar, being that you have to play a, a certain game mode in Star Citizen in Arena Commander. Um, all it is is just a like a skin. It's nothing really special. But we're going to get into it. Okay. So the Javelin, I think, will be a good suit for pirates. Obviously, being a massive vessel. If you're a massive pirate org, which I'm intending to get one of these, is just the sheer fact that it's going to be so hard to destroy. Um, having one of these is just going to give you the opportunity to carry a lot of people, a lot of gear, a lot of storage, a lot of inventory. Um, gives you a lot of pirating. A, capabilities in the mind of myself i would think anyway um if you think anything different let me know down in the comments i'm more than willing to listen to you guys so i would say that this thing would be indestructible i mean it would cost a lot to run obviously you have to buy each individual component for it, it might cost hundreds of millions to suit this ship out i don't know but in the eyes of a pirate i think that would be a massively um, a, a good vessel to have. So going on from there, you got the private privateer Kraken and you got the Kraken. So one of them has private shops on it, public shops on it. So you can sell illegal goods, legitimate goods. Now, obviously, being a pirate, you're going to sell illegitimate goods, and it's going to be full of um, a lot of black market stuff. Now, obviously, you have the normal Kraken as well, which has more cargo units on it. Obviously, being able to go out and pirate a lot more people, being able to carry a lot more ships with you, being able to refuel, repair, and rearm on this thing. So, it's going to have a lot of capabilities and uses for pirates. Obviously, Drake have made this specially for pirates, but obviously, anyone can use the ship. Being at the size that it is, you probably could fit a hammerhead. We were going over this. Uh, Space Jesus was and put out it like a... What ships could possibly fit on this? You could refuel, rearm, and whatnot, and repair. But um, it's going to be a pretty crazy vessel to have. I think it's going to be it'll be a good opportunity to have one of these and to have one in your fleet. So I'm hoping to have one of those, an Idris and a Javelin, in my fleet. So fingers crossed, we get there sometime in the future. The Idris, I think, because it's a massively, it looks like a Juggernaut, obviously. If you have an Idris M, fantastic. If you have an Idris P, you can have the Idris K kit on it, but obviously it's said in law that you can get an Idris M. Now, someone was saying in the comments that it isn't really mentioned that the UAE is the only way you can get an Idris M kit onto your Idris P, or just get an Idris M in general. But we'll just have to see later on down the track, I guess, once the game is fully released, whenever that is. Now, Idris M, obviously you got that massive size 10 railgun, Idris P. You've got the Idris K kit, or you just have the Idris P. Now, you can carry a lot of people in this. You can carry a lot of vehicles, uh, possibly quite a few aircrafts in it as well. So, it would be make good to land planet side and do some ground ops missions and do some pirating on the ground and in the air, being able to carry a lot of people with you. I think being that it's going to be such a hardship to destroy unless you come across a Javelin or a lot of like Polaris's. Um, smaller Perseus, like a Perseus as well, and some other ships, maybe even the Ares, Inferno, and Ion. It's probably going to be a hard ship to destroy, but again, the opportunity is there. But again, if you're a pirate, you're going to be having a lot more, a lot of other ships accompany this and escort it. So you got to think about that. If you're coming across a pirate and they've got one of these, a Kraken, a Javelin, and Merchantman, Polaris, Perseus, you probably don't want to mess with them. You probably just want to keep on walking and don't look back. Uh, the Merchantman, I think, because obviously it has shops in it as well, it's got four massive size 6 cannons on it. It's got the two size 5, so you can't go wrong. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. I mean, people are saying it's going to be overhyped. It might be overhyped. We don't know until it's actually released. But I think this ship is going to be fantastic, and I've got one. I'm waiting for it. I am waiting for that big girl to come out. 
So you got the Polaris as well, obviously being that now they've announced that it's going to be a little bit bigger. You can fit a Scorpius in it. Obviously, I think they obviously they designed it for that specific reason. So we'll just have to see. Maybe even even fit an F8 in there. I don't know. We'll just have to see once it gets a little bit bigger. But being the size it is, you might not be able to. So the Polaris having its size 10 torps, um, all those turrets on it, obviously going to have a lot of great functionality, a lot of great gameplay, and just a lot of uses to be able to live on board one of these. Being able to use it to escort with an Idris, a Javelin, Kraken, whatever you want, you just name it. Uh, you've got the Nautilus as well, obviously being a mine lang and disable uh, enemies' mines. So that would be another fantastic opportunity to have as a pirate because someone could have an Orion out in the sky, in the space, and you could use one of these disable mines around and then pirate said, said miner. And you could use like the Idris again and the Polaris to go into um, Atmo and then pirate other miners, traders, whatever you feel like. It's really up to you. Hammerhead, maybe, it, in the current game state, I would think about using one of these, but again, it's going to get with fighters is another opportunity, which would be fantastic. Uh, the Caterpillar Pirate Edition, nothing special, just a skin, but a lot of pirates use Drake ships and the Caterpillar, so that is another one that you could use and think about um, carrying cargo. But again, you could use an M2 or a C2, it's up to you. Now, I've just put this list together roughly, obviously, it's not something that's exact. I want you just to let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Starfarer Gemini, obviously a little bit heavier armor. Um, it's UEE Navy uh, refueler. You can just get a normal Starfarer, but it doesn't have as good armor as the Gemini. So take that into consideration. If you want the Gemini, you have to wait till Invictus, or I think maybe even IAE, I'm not 100%, uh, as I haven't been to one of those sales yet. Uh, you got the Perseus as well, with those massive four size sevens. Again, a great little ship. Um, for the price, I don't think I don't feel like it'd be worth it. Again, you can buy that in game as well. Um, a lot of people get really, really hurt when I say that, but I think it is a great ship. I like the shape of it and everything. So, just yeah, take that with a grain of salt. Again, like I said, it'd be another great ship. Um, with the Polaris and the Perseus, obviously being great opportunities. I think it's the Polaris. You'll be able to carry a ground vehicle like an Ursa Rover in it as well. So. There's always that opportunity there. Crucible using it to refuel, repair, rearm ships. You can put a small fighter in here. You might even be able to put a Scorpius in there now, I guess. Um, you can also detach the main ship from the garage. So you can then keep that to repair the ships while that goes off and repairs. Like an Idris, Javelin, Kraken, whatever you feel like you want to repair. The other retaliated bomber, obviously, with its size 9 torps, would obviously have a good opportunity to having that and using that to escort with a hammerhead or... Idris, whatever you feel later on down in the track. Uh, Mercury Star Runner, obviously for data running and smuggling in its little secret cargo area in this, so you can keep that in mind and use that to do naughty, naughty things. Uh, obviously, being able to use the data part of this to recon on enemies and potential targets that you want to um, deal with. Again, you can use that information privately or sell it. Uh, the Corsair, another great pirating ship. Obviously going to have a lot of turrets on it. Got those two side turrets, and then you've got those form front facing guns. Um, and you get your facing rear turret as well. So it's going to have a lot of opportunity there with um, pirating and a little bit of cargo space. But it's going to be a good defensive ship. So we'll see how that one comes out. It comes out next year. You've got the Apollo, obviously being a the medivac if you have access to that. That's great if you have the triage. It's okay. Um, obviously, if you're in battle or you're pirating and you need to heal someone, you need to revive them or do whatever you need to medically, you've got this. So you've got the Sentinel, uh, obviously it has its little EMP module uh, mode, so that's another good one. The Warden as well is another good one. You can use a lot of other the, uh, a lot of these ships to do said um, tasks. You can use the other vanguards, it's completely up to you, but... I would think about using the Sentinel. Um, you can use the Harbinger as well, but I don't use the Vanguard series or line that much. The Redeemer obviously is going to be a big ship. It's going to have a lot of big guns on it, so that can be another cover for a pirate who is going to be obviously pirating someone. So you can have another ship go down, have this in the sky, and cover you. Got the Cutlass Red again, another Drake ship, Cutlass Blue, um, to use for pirating. Now, a lot, I know a lot of pirates don't use a lot of these ships, but 
this is something I would consider. Obviously, you can use the mantis to interdict someone. You can use it to dampen their uh, quantum. So you can obviously jump, so let's say, from Dama and then jump to, uh, let's say, Microtech and then have someone sitting in the middle there, follow you, and then interdict them and rip them out of quantum and sort of pirate them, possibly. It's up to you. And then have an EMP ship there. Uh, the SRV, now obviously, it's going to have a tractor beam on it and you can be able to pull ships. So possibly being able to use this to get a cutlers or a little um, cargo hauling ship and sort of take them for ransom and make them pay so that you for their release, I guess. Uh, you got the Ion, um, has its laser, size 7 laser cannon, and then you got the Inferno with its size 7 Gatling. So again, taking these ships into consideration with ground ops missions, uh, taking against an Idris, pretty much using them for against smaller ships as well to... Be like, hey, if you don't pay up, we're going to kill you. We're going to destroy your ship. And we're going to take the cargo that is left over and cash out on it. And you got the Asperia Talon. Now, actually, I know with a lot of these ships, you've got uh, ones with cargo doors. So, like a Carrick as well. Uh, there's a few others. I can't remember uh, directly. But you can scoop vehicles up in them. So, it's, it takes quite a bit of training. But you can do it. You've got the Asperia Talon, a good fighting ship. Uh, quite... Good with its weapons as well. You got the F8 when that eventually comes out, I guess. Um, being able to get that from Squadron 42 or being um, a wing commander, I believe it is, in the concierge ranks. Uh, the Scorpius, obviously, being able to fit into the Polaris and being having all these size 3 weapons, size 2 gimbaled, I would seriously consider that as well. You got the Sabre, you got the Hornet Ghost, and you got the Pirate Gladius, and then the Gladius. The Pirate Gladius, obviously, just a skin. It gives you size 2 gimbaled weapons, but I would just put size 3 on it and use that skin for a bit of a scare and a bit of fun. Since, it, you know, it is a cool skin. I do like it. But these are ships that I would consider. Uh, there's a lot of other ships, obviously, out there. So let me know down in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys got to say. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching.